Some of the most exciting times in our lives depend upon them. Doctors talk about them in terms of scrotal, scrotum, testes, testicles. We like to call them lum, ghoulies, nuts. Yes, I'm talking balls! We all know nuts are healthy for you, but do you know a healthy nut? Do you ever spare a thought for the general welfare of the little dangly chaps? Do you keep your eye on the ball? A testicle is a ball-like or an egg-shaped uh, organ which is found between your legs and it's wrapped around by a loose skin called the scrotum. Cancer is genetically abnormal cells growing in an unpredictable and haphazard manner. When you look at the cells, the cancer cells in detail, and you look at their DNA, that's the genetic code, you can see that there are abnormalities in that genetic code compared to normal tissue. Testicular cancer is a type of uh, cancer where there is abnormal growth, um, and that's in the form of a small lump and you can have benign growths and cancerous growths. The commonest type that we come into is cells from the body of the testis itself, those cells that have the ability to produce sperm. They will divide more rapidly than normal cells and they won't kill themselves, they'll continue to divide and as they divide, eventually, as there are enough of them, they will form a mass of cells and eventually, if they're big enough, you'll be able to feel that mass of cells. So it's a large number of highly concentrated cells growing in a rapid manner. Then it will eventually spread. So the cancerous nature of it is detected by its behaviour. So it will not lie still, it won't just remain the same size or grow very slowly. It will ultimately go beyond the testicle and spread to other areas. So there are many, many different types of testis cancer, but for all intents and purposes there are two that we refer to. Both are curable. The two that we refer to that affect young men are seminoma, that has a specific characteristic that looks special under the microscope. And then there are five or six other cancers and we group them together and call them non-seminomas. And the treatment pathways are very slightly different between the two. But for all intents and purposes, testis cancer, germ cell tumours of the testis, are treated in a pretty similar way with surgery and chemotherapy and the outcome is excellent. An orchidectomy is a very simple operation which may take about 20 to 30 minutes under a general anaesthetic. The way we perform surgery on these patients is uh, a cut is made in the groin, the testis is attached to a cord and both the testis, the body of the testis and the cord are removed in its entirety. Recovery is very quick and most procedures are done as a day case. The other testis will make up for all of the work the other testis is doing, so the testosterone production is normal, the sperm production is normal, erectile function is normal. The diagnosis of testicular cancer is made at different stages. So it's a clinical diagnosis. It usually can be done within 48 hours, um, but at the very most within five working days. Being given the news that you have testicular cancer and that you are going to have a testicle removed and you may go on and have some further treatment after that, it's incredibly difficult news to be to be given and, and uh, you know, it's, uh, people will respond in a very individual way to it actually. Unlike many other cancers where we know there are direct uh, lifestyle um, factors involved, there is no one specific cause for testicular cancer. We know there are a number of risk factors. The most common risk factor is a, a condition called cryptoorchidism, which basically means 
undescended testicle. Many of those men are identified when they're very young and operations are performed to bring the testicle down often quite early on in life. However, their risk still remains above uh, normal men and in patients where we are unaware that the testicle has failed to descend, that risk remains extremely high. It's also clear that if there's a family history of testicular cancer, that risk is raised. That's particularly the case if you have a brother with testicular cancer, less so if you have a father with testicular cancer. Epididymal walkitis is a common condition in younger men and is usually due to infections such as STDs. The epididymis, the tube behind the testicle, becomes inflamed and this inflammation may spread to the testicle. As a result, the testicle will swell up quite rapidly and become quite painful. Treatment in this situation usually consists of a two-week course of antibiotics and painkillers. A hydrocele is a common condition where fluid may accumulate outside of the testicle. Normally the testicles are surrounded by a smooth protective tissue sac which makes a small amount of lubricating fluid to allow the testes to move freely. Excess fluid normally drains away into the veins in the scrotum. However, if the drainage is compromised, then the fluid may accumulate as a hydrocyl. Treatment is not usually needed, but the hydrocyl can be surgically repaired during a minor operation if required. A varicocele is similar to having varicose veins in your legs. The small veins next to one or both of the testes may be unable to drain properly and become distended. Treatment is not usually needed, but if required, a medical or surgical procedure can be performed to improve the blood flow. An epididymal cyst is a fluid-filled sac which grows usually at the top end of the testicle. Some men only get one, while others may get several on both testicles. Small cysts do not need treatment. Larger cysts can be removed surgically or drained using a surgical needle to shrink them, especially if they become painful. That's me. Is that is that my fella? Yes. Mr. Lefty. Mr. Lefty. It's like when I look at the baby ones, I can never really see the baby either. We're taking cross sections through the gland itself. Oh, so I'm not actually looking at the football. I've sliced it across the football exactly. or whatever. I did. They noticed I picked football because it was the largest ball that came to mind. I could have uh, used tennis ball or cricket ball, but I didn't. That's what you want. A nice smooth texture. You don't want any lumps or bumps in it. Ah. Ah. Uh -huh. Interesting bit. There. Yep. That is a cyst, and it only measures about two centimetres. Have you had an injury before? Oh, I play with me a lot, yeah. Ah, that's probably what it is. It's not very big, and it's nothing to worry about. It's fairly common. So you, it's when you say common. it's not very big, you're it's talking okay. about my cyst, not my... Uh... The cyst is not very big. Yeah, the rest of it's <laughs> yeah. it fine. The testes are a nice size. A nice size. <laughs> I like it. They're ample. <laughs> so, if you had a found a lump there... Yeah. Medically, what would happen to me next now that I've been scanned and diagnosed as having a cancerous lump? We send you back to the surgeons and we lop it off. They lop it off? Yeah. Best time to check them out is after a shower or a hot bath, because the hot water makes everything expand, uh, relax, or as a scientist might say, everything is hanging loose. Now, no two balls are the same, so get to know your own. And now the bit you've been waiting for, the personal demonstration on how to check them out. Have you got that macro lens with you? The one that makes really small things look really big? No. Not to worry. Here's a pair I made earlier. What you do is, you take the scrotum and place it in the palm of the hand like that, and then using the thumb and fingers on both hands, you check right around the ball. Check their weight too, and look for any changes. And when you're feeling, feel for any changes in swelling, or look for a lump there. 
If you do notice that one's bigger than the other, or if you notice that one hangs lower than the other, then don't worry, because that is normal. But if there's any noticeable difference, then what you got to do is check them out. The testicles lie within the scrotum or ball bag. They should feel soft and smooth, like hard-boiled eggs, with a tube at the top and back of the testicle called the epididymis, which carries and stores sperm. It feels a bit like scrambled egg and should not be confused with an abnormal lump. You should also be able to feel the firm, smooth tube of the spermatic cord. This runs up from the epididymis, and we all know what that's connected to. If anything feels unusual, then cross-check it with your other ball, because it's rare for testicular cancer to occur in both. And remember, don't worry, not all lumps and bumps need cancer. The bottom line is, if you have a mass in your testis, get it checked out, get it dealt with, see your doctor, because the outcomes are excellent if we treat patients early. ORCID has created this website to try and give you some insight into the treatment that you might experience.